also on today, uh, also on your program today, uh, we want to look at the Bureau of Public Safety. They've released an intercepted report on the June 3 disaster, and uh, we want to speak to Nana Yao Akoda, who is the executive director of the group. Good morning to you, uh, Nana. Hi, good morning, uh, Roland. Yeah. Having a hard time yes, and I spoke, um, you are very much. Uh, on the subject of uh, disasters, and especially your concern was about um, the June 3 disaster and how the report has not uh, been issued publicly yet. But now you have really intercepted the report, you've made it public. I, I was just going through the, the initial pages of the report, but I, I, I want to s uh, ask you, uh, as leader of this pressure group uh, and, and think tank, so to speak, what do you make of the report in itself? Um, good morning, uh, Roland, and good morning to your viewers. Uh, basically, I think that the report um, gives us a certain indication, of a certain lack on the part of government and state institutions in complement uh, to safety. We strongly believe that if this report is opened up and digested adequately, we will get results uh, from these state institutions which are responsible for securing public safety. If you look at the content of the report, uh, it also speaks volumes about what may have caused the incident and what the normal public opinion and media reports are and what also official don't seem to have been communicating so far. Well, Roland, I did not quite get this second question. Um, Are you able to repeat it? If you read the report, I'm saying it gives you a, a perspective which perhaps has not been in the public domain about what really caused the fire or caused the disaster in itself, and then also what perhaps may have been done by official dom in resolving future occurrences of such disasters. Well, I think the report is quite explicit on what the committee think caused or led to the fire. They've given us remote causes and immediate causes. Um, to that extent, the Bureau is satisfied, even though we strongly believe that aspects of um, the cause, causation of, or the causative factors of this accident need to be further investigated. But we want to push this thing ahead. It's been two years. Uh, we think that we should look at the recommendations made by the committee. We should look at whether these recommendations are being implemented, have been implemented, or there are plans to implement these recommendations and how soon. We believe that um, the fact that this report has been shelved for two years and the fact that certain key recommendations in this report we are not seeing any signs of it being implemented is a rare case for us to worry about and to ask government some questions. And that is why we have put this report out there in the public domain because, you know, right from uh, 2010, we've been pushing government to publish such reports um, from, you know, several incidents going through market fires, um, you know, leisure area disasters, road, major road incidents. I mean, all those accidents that the state had, has had to, you know, um, set up committees to investigate and um, submit reports to it. We've called for these investigation reports to be made public because we, um, going through this, the, the June 10 report, we also hold a strong opinion that perhaps government is not releasing this report they are aware of how state institutions are not performing as mm. far as conditions are concerned. All right. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, we've been speaking to the executive director for the group, that is the uh, Bureau of Public Safety. And Nanaya Akwada has been speaking on the release of their interceptor report or of the government's own interceptor reports on the courses and the recommendations per the committee's report on the June 3 disaster. And we know that incident resulted in the, in the loss of over 127 lives. Well, we'll, we'll